G'day guys, welcome to the Slurry Research Institute. I'm G-Man, your head slurry researcher, providing you with the findings of my latest research. Without further ado, let's jump in, have a laugh, gents. Dating as a 30 year old in Australia is so hard. I lived in London for seven years. Guys would come up to you in bars, like come up to you on the street, ask for your number, like not even in a creepy, annoying way, in a way that it was like flattering or like, it just is like normal human communication. Dating oh, in yeah. Australia, not only is the dating pool so small because there's less people, I guess, the amount of effort that Australian guys put in is insane. It's just nothing. Like they'll just, they just want to message you for months and never ask you out and never meet up. And I'm like, what's your aim here? Like, do you just want a pen pal? Do you just want a friend to message when you're bored? Like, let's hang out. Let's go to the fucking beach because there's yeah. beaches here. Let's go get a drink. Like there's, you could literally just do anything. Now I just have like 50 guys on my Instagram in my DMs messaging me and like replying to my stories. I'm like, you're my fans. I'm not dating you. You're just a fan. Guys, now what do we can say about this uh, particular specimen of slurry? So uh, she was an Australian expat over in London, went over there for her, um, what do we call it? Uh, basically a sex holiday, all right? We call them working visa holidays, expat. That's what they're doing over there, just getting absolutely railed by Dexter and the boys over in London. Uh, she's come back. She's older now. She's over 30. And she thinks she's still got what it takes. So you boys at home... You should be asking her out, knocking on her door, okay? Making her feel special. Sign up, boys. She's been away over in uh, London, getting railed for years, but now she's back. She wants to date. Also, you other losers that aren't in the 5%, stop being her fans, you dorks. <laughs> oh, now this is a great... Guys, this is what we call shazzies, okay? So guys who aren't from Australia... Uh, a shazzy, it's just a rough woman, rough as guts, like your trailer kind of trash. She's um, she's trying to dress it up with the makeup and everything, uh, but still, we know under that, bucket of smash grabs. All right, single fellas of Brisbane. Oh, probably on the Sunshine Coast. I have a beautiful friend that is single, and we she are on the hunt for a good man for her. Where is she? Where is she's, she? She's um, not picking the best herself. So, <laughs> we're on the mission. So, if you are single and in Brisbane, ready to settle down, not fuck around, oh. not on the rebound, hit us up. So, uh, hit me up on either Insta or you can message me here. But yeah, and oh, age bracket's probably a good thing, eh? Oh shit. Aye. I reckon 30s to 40s, please. No young guns. Sorry about it, fellas, but yeah. All right, hit me up. All right, now, is this friend actually exist or is it for her? Who knows? But what has TikTok become in Australia now that you've got these old boilers looking to lockdown dudes off TikTok sending out uh, the call to arms uh, to the broader, what, uh, the broader population? Now, uh, this one had 25,000 likes, uh, this post, and she has a whole bunch of dudes in her comments, thirsty as, saying, yes, I'm on Brisbane, I'm 38, I want to be your man. I'm 32 from Chinchilla, hit me up. I'm from Brisbane. I'm single and 34. Hit me up. Come on, guys. And she's like, yeah, send me a DM with your details and all that sort of stuff. But what's this telling you? So it doesn't matter where you live in the world, okay? This is a sort of chick you're going to get on a Plenty of Fish uh, or Oasis Active, which is the bottom of the barrel dating apps over here. Uh, she's got the whole, uh, the famous line. We know the famous line, uh, ready to settle down. No more fun. Her friend or her friend has had uh, her fun and it's time to settle down. So guys in your thirties to forties, uh, who've made yourselves up to be someone uh, of value, please settle for these, uh, crusty old, uh, soggy boilers. <laughs> Can you make it up? Good old Australia. Good old Aussie land. All right, here we go, boys. Now, I know you guys at home are going to be all over this. You guys are the ones that are in the flirting, talking, and dating stage getting this bird here in the back of your VN behind the cricket ground. Let's have a watch of this. <laughs> what? Mm. 
Now that's what we call, uh, that is what you call a chassis. Now that is probably the best example of a chassis. You're going to see her down in Logan, uh, Blacktown. You're going to see her in suburbs like uh, Frankston, Pakenham, Cranbourne, Dandenong potentially. Okay, maybe over in the west. Hilarious. This is your uh, A-grade Shari, um, who still thinks she's got it. She's still trying to dress young. Uh, has the bucket of a bucket. Uh, has the head of a bucket of smashed crabs and the rig of SpongeBob. But. Uh, still wants to come on TikTok and become a sex symbol. Now, once again, I'm going to shame some of you dirty bastards at home. Yeah, you. I've got to come over there and just mm, throw a right cross at you, right? Because you got guys saying, you look so beautiful. Can we take it from where you stopped, which was the dating stage? This guy wants to go to relationship engagement marriage with this chassis. Let's keep scrolling through. Love hearts. One dude just has love hearts and smiley faces. Another guy wrote, you're very pretty. Another guy wrote, hello pretty, how are you doing? Oh, come on. I got another guy wrote, I love you, love heart. What is going on guys at home? Is it really that bad out there? Why don't you tell me, okay? Are we at the stage now that the chassis are now like supermodels for you dirty little monster hunters at home? Huh? For you dirty little stevos. We know what stevos get up to, right? Absolute filth in his VN or the Ford Ranger, behind footy or cricket ground after presentation night. Is this what you're doing? When you come, oh, yeah, G-Man, I got this hot chick the other night. Now, you, this is what you got. And I'm like, oh, show me a photo. Oh, no, no. Oh, she doesn't have Facebook. <laughs> you dirty pricks. You dirty pricks. And I love it. All right. Now, Melbourne girls, uh, this is a, a delicacy which I'm well uh, familiar with and accustomed to. Frankston's not going I'm just to- I'm something really casual at the moment. <laughs> Do you mind if I okay, just smoke a diary right I now? Don't Me and my mates have this really like underground like rave thing and it's like pretty illegal, <laughs> but like- I'm keen to go out for drinks, but like something very low key, very casual, like very underground artsy vibe. <laughs> This is like really underground jazz bar, like all the guys in this were like, dude, like, you really fucking love it. <laughs> I'm not looking for anything serious, but if you wanted to like come over and watch a movie, I totally would see you. <laughs> Frankston's not- Hey, give it to them, those girls are funny, that's a good, good, good gag. Uh, but you dirty Bryce's they've, and Steve-O's, they've got you pegged, they know all the lines. Because they've been there and done that on many occasions. That's why uh, comedy, as they say, is the truth. Because it's true. Okay, guys, halfway through, if you're enjoying my content and enjoying me being back into the comedy sphere, aim for 10K sub, so please sub to that channel and let's get the channel out there, share it with your friends. If you'd like to support further, you can check out my Patreon and uh, uh, pledge over there, but no pressure to do that. The best way to help me, watch my videos through, like, comment, interact with the guys. Okay, so we have a, uh, this is what we call a slurry, and this is a woman who is a serial dater. Uh, this particular woman, I've, I've had her on a few videos, so I'll check out her account every now and again. There's always a new uh, hinge story, a new horror story. Whether they're true or not is a different story, but one thing I'll say, guys, on a more serious date, be very, very careful of the kind of girls you get on with, because... They can make up all sorts of crazy stories about you without validation on the internet. Now, this one here has 183,000 likes, so you just need to understand the reach that some of these uh, girls have. You girls going on another hinge date. I know in my last video I said I wasn't going to go any more dates for a while, and I was so sure of that, but... Yeah, yeah. Well, one guy messaged me yesterday and asked me out for tonight, and I went out last night, and I'm so fucking hungover. I'm still hungover. I feel awful. Um, so when he messaged me to confirm today, I said no. But then another guy messaged me and he was like, oh, like, do you want to do something tonight? And I was like... Bonafide slurry, guys. But as I say, these women are always multi-dating. They have so many guys on the hook. Tell on themselves, okay? They're Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, uh, which is online dating applications. They have to pick their litter. Uh, people say, oh, well, she's 2.30 and she's not going to get any more action. Now nah, these chicks, they get action all the way up until they're 95 because dirty little scoundrels like you at home, dirty little bastards who can't keep a little pecker in your pants and chasing them around no matter what. And it should be more of it. <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm just gonna be spontaneous. I'm just gonna say yes. And now I am regretting all of my decisions. But, bit of a red flag. Basically, he texted me, asked me what I wanted to do, and I called him because I don't like texting to arrange plans. And we're figuring out, he was like, why don't we just go to a pub? And I was like, yeah, let's go here. It's really chill, but it's a Maryvale venue, so it's really nice. And he's like, oh, Maryvale, um, do they have an ID scanner? 
And I'm like, what, are you, like, a fucking convicted felon or something? Like, Probably. And he's like, no, I just, like, I have an issue with Mary Vale. Like, I can't get in there. And I was like, oh, what? Like, why? And he was like, oh, like, six months ago, um, I got in it with a Seki at the Ivy, so now I can't go back. And he just kind of gave this really vague story. He said, oh, like, I didn't get in a fight with him, but it's just like, yeah. And I was like... Also, your girl hasn't learned a thing because I'm letting him pick me up. I don't know what's fucking wrong with me. <laughs> well, you make horrible decisions, but maybe he was a good-looking guy, and so any good decision-making goes out the window, uh, and you are driven uh, by the mystique, um, the excitement, fun, and potential uh, reaming you're going you're to get in the back of the VN uh, in the end of the night. That's why they're there, guys. The, they can't pretend to be all innocent all the time. She is a bona fide uh, passenger of the VN, um, and she is definitely going Calais class. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, but he's not drinking. He said he's doing like dry July, so don't worry. It's not going to be drink driving. So I will see you for the update. Okay, I am in the toilet, but I do think it's going well. Okay, I'm home. I think it went really well. I think. Sometimes I think it went really well and then they ghost me. So maybe it didn't, but... You know how I said before, oh, don't worry, no drink driving. There was still no drink driving, but um, when he was getting in the car to drive me home, <laughs> he had one of those alcohol things you have to plug into. Great selection of men, right? Great selection of men. And she has to put it all over the internet, boys. So as I said, be careful who you're getting... Uh, friendly with because i'll put your details out there if this sort of attention seeker look at this cackle look at this snaggle tooth little alligator having a laugh <laughs> uh. it's not funny i don't know why i'm laughing i'm like is it kind of hot it means he's a bit of a bad boy what is wrong with me i don't condone drink driving like he's that's a bad fucked. boy but anyway he didn't kiss me in the car when he was dropping me off I don't know, but maybe that's a good thing. Like, maybe it's, like, out of respect. Like, he respects yeah. me so much. I'm fucking Delulu. Like, I'm actually delusional. But I'm going to tell myself it went well. Because I think it did. I think. I hope. He is moving house tomorrow. So, like, maybe I won't get text a text back for a while. But, like, that's fine, right? <laughs> She's rationalising bad behaviour to guys who couldn't give two shits about it. It's classic. <laughs> if a guy likes you, it doesn't matter if he's moving house or not. You're going to hear from him. No, I do know. He did keep complimenting me, but, like, it wasn't in a weird way. Like, you know, when, like, someone compliments you too much and it's weird, it was, like, it was just quite nice. I don't know how to explain. No, but, like, the level of delusional I am. So, basically, he likes spearfishing. And then, so, he was, like, when he was showing me the, like, car thing that he had to blow into, he was, like, this is a red flag. And I was, like, okay, good. I've got a red flag for you. I can't stop fucking vaping. And he was like, oh, that won't be good for spearfishing, though. So, like, does he want to take me spearfishing? Does he want to take me spearfishing? I don't think I'd be very good at it, but, like, I can try. I'm always willing to try new things. Wait, I got a text. I got the, like, thanks for tonight. I had a really good time text. Look how, look at this match. So, every red flag you can get. Every red flag. It doesn't matter in the world where you are, whether it's Chag, whether it's Rahul over in India, Chang in China, Jung over in Korea. All these high value or perceived high value, hot, sexy guys, these women just gush and go gaga over him, has red flags all over him, probably convicted Fallon, uh, and has a breathalyzer controlling his car. So clearly good drink driving issues. But you know, she is absolutely gushing over him, good on him. Um, it should be more of it, but it will always be the way. The bad boys will always come in front, regardless if you're Bryce in Australia, um, or as I said, any other variant Dino over in the UK, you know? If I've left any countries out that you guys watch, you tell me in the comments. All right, this is going to be an interesting one. I thought I, would, I, th I, watched, I did watch this one in full, and I think you guys will appreciate it because I know a lot of you guys go this way. And I get asked lots of questions about it, so I thought I would answer them. For reference, I'm an only faps girly. So I always get asked, why did I start it? Who hurt me? No one hurt me. I just grew up quite poor and I wanted money. I'm also transgender, even though we have oh. so many other benefits here in Australia. Gender reassignment surgery is still around the 25 to 30k mark. So I dropped out of school when I was... Now, I don't care what people do, right? I'm just saying that this is a man and you, this, this particular person has 98,000 uh, likes on this from men. 
Dudes in the comments, I'm very interested. Hi, you're so beautiful. You're really gorgeous. Where are you located, sweetheart? Oh no, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. I want to meet you. Hello. Hi. When are you coming to Sydney? How much? So beautiful. You are so pretty. Wow. Like, guys at home, you guys at home, what are you doing? What are you doing? Watch my channel. Don't let me come over there and just jump a punch you. Mm, mm, mm. So that's what I'm going to do if you keep doing this sort of shit. Because whether it's a tranny or not, okay, you're on only cans wasting your money. I was 17, busted my ass in like two hospitality jobs, sometimes even three, just like saving up money, trying to get somewhere. Growing up and realizing how in the hell can you afford anything in this life? We have a lot of great things here in Australia, but housing is not one of them. It is so fucked. So in the point. middle of one of our lockdowns, um, I was so bored and I was like, what the hell with it? I'm just going to try this and see if it works. So yeah, I was bored in lockdown and wanted money. Probably the number one question I got asked though was like, is it worth it? Should I do it? How much money do you make? The how much money do you make probably is definitely the number one. I won't disclose the exact amount, but I will say that I've actually made a fair bit. I do definitely attribute that a lot to the fact that I am transgender. <laughs> and I reckon I'm going to be straight up honest here. Uh, there are probably a lot of you guys at home that don't care because it looks like a girl, right? It looks like a girl. I've had guys tell me this. Like, oh, is it, does it make you gay if you have sex with a tranny that looks like a 10 out of 10 chick? I don't think it's gay. Who knows? I'm, not, I'm going to stay silent on my thoughts on that. But I reckon a lot of you guys out there go that way. <laughs> I don't care what you do. Hey, mate, if you unleash the beast, good on you, man. Hey, we all have our things. <laughs> It's a bit of a niche. Now, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my God, it worked out great for me, so you should too. It's becoming a saturated market. It's not to say that you can't do it. I believe in anyone. You, it's just, it's, I've done it for two years and when I started, it was oh, pretty, pretty into it, but it was still fairly new-ish. And I was quite lucky I had an easy niche. Um, my male opinion. <laughs> There is just so many more people on it nowadays that it takes um, a, a lot more harder work to get a good amount of money. And it is the internet. Like, you have to be completely comfortable with, like, anything possibly ever getting out. And it is certainly not for everyone, and it's okay if it's not for you. I am very happy that I'm doing it, though. I don't regret a thing. But, yeah, a lot more financial freedom. Um, freedom to choose your hours is amazing, and not a lot of jobs can offer that. Still can in no means buy an Australian house outright, but, but might be able to take out a mortgage soon. So, do I do corn? I personally don't, just because it's not what I'm comfortable with, but no shame to you if you do it, or are comfortable doing it. And hey, if the- So you are doing it, it's just you're by yourself. These house prices don't stop, then maybe I will. But in my experience, you don't have to do corn to make good money. Also need the money to support my- to support my little child here. If I ever die, my fortune will probably go to this- Alright, anyways, that's the end of that one, guys. As you can see, a bit of a bastard case over here in Melbourne. But you guys, uh, she's this person is making a uh, living from you straight guys, you straight guys over there, right? No shade to gay people. I don't care. Do what you want. Bang whoever you want, right? But you straight guys over there spending money on transgender only cans. That's a new one. This person can uh, have sustain a full lifestyle off it. Good on you. I was meant to go on a date this morning. It didn't go ahead. Why? I don't know. I thought the conversation was good. Um, last night he said, where, like, where am I suggesting? Cause he said coffee and walk. And then I said a couple places. He didn't reply. And then he posted on his Instagram story. Um, and then I thought maybe he'll respond in the morning cause he's out, whatever, I don't care. Um, no reply, nothing. He didn't say, sorry, I slept in. Oh, sorry, can't happen. He just never messaged. And it was meant to happen at 11 o'clock. Um, Cool, chasing a dude that is probably far too above you. Uh, he wanted to do a coffee and walk, which was easy. She came back, said a couple of places. Maybe what she said, he thought it was too much effort. I've definitely been in those shoes. Okay, too hard. Just have a wank. Forget about it. Go back and play PlayStation 5 or whatever you were doing for the day. Um, but I don't know why this happens. It's happened a couple times to me recently, and it's just so rude and inconsiderate especially when i thought what like we're having a good conversation communicating well um mutually interested it seemed but obviously not um where am i finding these people on hinge and they're probably on tinder not that it should matter but if you're on that and you're organizing a date why organize a date and not go through with it and just ghost someone i guess that's ghosting um but yeah just it's so difficult i was meant to go on a 
Oh, right. So no shade at this woman, right? But she's obviously chasing, she's chasing the dragon. She's chasing the guys that are too good for her um, or just have too many options. And she's not at the top of that list, too difficult, whatever it may be. Welcome to the life of a man. Welcome to the life of a man in Melbourne, Sydney, wherever you're from, Brisbane, I, on dating apps. Getting, uh, I, I would say, in my experience, you could have a uh, flake rate of up to 50% probably on dates. All right? Whether it's the day before they flake, uh, they, they do exactly what this uh, woman said that the guy did. He disappeared. Or right? well, they text you five minutes, you turned up there, you've, took, you've, you've taken your phone off Google Maps, you've had a look at your phone, and they've cancelled on you where well, you've arrived at, at the location. So this stuff happens all the time. I don't think it's good. It does suck. Ghosting is pretty reprehensible. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the world of a man. All right, that's all I can say here. All right, guys, final clip of the day. Let's see what this uh, lady has to offer. I think it's going to be a tale as old as time. Okay, women wanting to be locked down uh, in cuffing season. Honestly, I cannot believe we're actually one week away from Christmas. This will be my... I was just thinking about before, this is going to be my fifth Christmas alone, which I'm fine with, but I don't know, I just thought this year would have been different, especially when it came to dating, and I did try and date, and I'm at a point now where once again, I'm sort of going like, what, what, do people even try anymore, like, is she making like effort? Like, what's she doing to attract a guy who might want to stick around? It's always on the guy, the onus on the guy, right? What are you doing to to get yourself out of the situation? All right, I think it's laughable. I can't make too much jokes at this because it is a little bit sad, really. This woman is not bad looking. She's an average, maybe slightly above average, uh, lying on the couch complaining uh, in her pajamas that she can't get dates or she can't find Mister Charming or uh, James Bond is not going to drive up in the driveway and his Aston Martin knock on the door and sweep her off her feet, and take her over to Milan. Okay. You can't make it up. And as you get older, it's almost like you can tell there is a difference. And also there's a difference in the way how uh, people treat each other as you get older as well. That's the other thing I've really noticed. And does anyone else feel like that? Okay, guys, translation. Guys are not chasing around her anymore. She's gotten a little bit older. She's starting to see that um, life isn't on easy mode anymore. I'm still sure it could be for plenty of men out there, but for the guys that she wants to chase and the Bryce's, the Steve-O's, they're not doing it anymore. She's, you know, she's probably in the old boiler category for them now, and they're moving on to greener pastures, going for younger women. Okay, so all she's saying is it's hard, no one making any effort. No, it's guys aren't chasing you like they used to. Because this girl probably would have been quite attractive 10 years ago uh, in her early 20s, okay, or late teens. I can't remember how old she said she was. But they time out, they let themselves get into this predicament, come onto TikTok, complain. So guys uh, who watch my show, who are not in Australia, it's the same here as it is all over the world. They all do the same thing. Uh, it's very interesting. It's never going to change. It's going to be probably get worse. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of the SRI. If you have any comments, please put them down. You want to challenge anything I said, put it down. Share your experiences and guys, share with your friends. That's how to get me out there and help me grow. Thank you very much.